Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video episode 10, we're going to learn about NSD, USD and what it is doing and how to approach a market and uh, the best way to trade. Many people come in with many ideas, but I want you to, to show you this trick. I want to show you this trick to be using when you're analyzing the, the trade. So we'll be analyzing for our, you know, I love top-down analysis, but sometimes you can do four hour and if you are accurate, you can make money. So this is our four hour and we want to know first the market structure. What is our market structure of this trade? Our market structure is an, an uptrend. So the market is going high, high lows, high, high lows, high, high lows, high like that. So the market is on an uptrend. When the market is on an uptrend, we are looking for buys. So I'm just analyzing using four hour to just show you that you can build your case even on four hour. So the market is on an uptrend and we are looking for a buy. And what really tells us that this market is on an uptrend because when the market came here, we have the highest point. We have this break of structure. Can you guys see? We have BOS. So this leg also have BOS. So we have BOS here. And this is current market. So you can do exactly as I'm saying, you can follow and then you can know how to trade it. So we have BOS there, the market broke and then this is a very big drop. It's called a deep retracement or a retracement, whichever you want to call it, but this is just a retracement. Now the question is, how do you now get back into your feet and start buying? What is the trigger of you buying a market that has been trending and it is retested? How will you know that it is now the end of retracement and you can buy again? The only thing that I can tell you guys is to use patterns. It's very, very good to when you are using patterns. And in this case, because the market is retracing on the sell side, the pattern that you can use, it's called double bottom. So we can have that double bottom like that. We can have that double bottom like that. And I want to show you how to trade now this double bottom. So let's place the double bottom. And this is a possible double bottom. That's a possible double bottom. So we have the possible double bottom. And then let's measure our let's measure our half so that is our half guys that's our half that's the half of that double bottom now the trick that you'll be using in this trade if you want to use this double bottom we have first to double check if this double bottom is appearing on daily time frame because note that if it is appearing on daily time frame our entry cannot be on four hour. Our entry will shift to daily. So let's go and check if that double bottom is on daily. What do you think, guys? Do you have a double bottom on daily? Is there a double bottom on daily? No. And this makes our double bottom very easy to trade because you need to understand if a pattern is in two time frames, that's where uh, that's where time frame alignment is required. But where the pattern is only in one time frame, immediately you get an action, you just jump into it. So we know that this double bottom, possible double bottom, it is not on daily, it is only on four hour. So our eyes can focus on how this double bottom will get to be. Now, as much as you want this double bottom and you want to trade it and you want to buy, first you need to understand what is the signal for me to get in on a buy when I have double bottom on four hour. Remember guys, I've kept telling you, we don't use WBB, we use CRB. What is CRB? Current resistance break. So here you'll be waiting, wait, CRB. <laughs> CRB means current resistance break. So they have to create your current resistance they break it so that you enter a buy. And you, if, you, if you want for me to 
uh, emphasize on CRB and how CRB comes to be. That's what I teach in my mentorship program, which I charge $400. So don't come in saying, oh, we need that video. Of, of course, I have done so many videos on CRB. Maybe you can go and check one of them and you'll know how CRB even happens. Now, let's now uh, write here the red flags that can make this buy very impossible. So number one, what are the red flags? Number one, the red flag is we get a BOS. For the move, for the, for the, what we have now, because it's how many minutes to closing this candle, 30 minutes. So if this market breaks here, I'm sorry to tell you that we no longer have a double bottom. We no longer have a possible double bottom. So if this trade, if this market, so this is the first thing that you need to understand. This is the first thing that you need to understand. This is the first thing that you need to understand that if the market has a BOS, if the market has BOS, you no longer have that double bottom. And you see, if we don't have the double bottom, even waiting current resistance, sometimes it is difficult. So you don't have the you don't have the double bottom. You can't use the rule of the double bottom and you're left hanging. So that is our first red flag because people don't really pay attention on what is happening. So if this in the next 30 minutes, if the market closed below 6263, if it is at 6262, 62, know that market will have broken know that we'll have that break. So we'll have BOS. But you see the good thing with my students and with everyone who has been in my mentorship, I teach a strategy that is called BWA. This is where you apply BWA strategy. strategy. So I will not talk of BWA strategy because this was not about BWA strategy. This was not a, a BWA strategy uh, video. But you can apply BWA strategy and still manage to, to enter this trade. So if that market breaks there, the next thing that maybe they might be targeting is that zone. So for you, you might think, oh, the market might, the possible double bottom may come here because it has broke. And if it has broke the support, the next support, it will be here. Another thing to enter this trade, you will be, paying more attention on your resistance. I've told you, this is your friend. Current resistance break is what is giving us a buy. Having a possible double bottom is fueling this buy very well. Why? Because it's a double bottom on an uptrend. We always say double bottom on an uptrend makes our market easier to buy. Double bottom on an uptrend will make our market easier to buy. So. If you have double bottom on an uptrend, it is easier to buy. That's what I'm saying. We need to pay attention on this double bottom if it will come to be. And if it doesn't, we continue waiting for current resistance break. For instance, how do current resistance break comes to be? Because if you're not resident, you can't choose BWA. The only now strategy, and I'm willing to train you, is CRB. How does CRB comes in? Let's say the market breaks there and it continues going down. For instance, I'm just saying it continues going down and then you get a green candle like that. So how does a CRB comes in? If you get a green candle and then you get another green candle, you need a red candle to create CRB. So if you're following, you will get into this trade and you'll make money. So we need a green followed by red to have CRB, current resistance break. So you come and put your line like that and now wait for that current resistance break to break. If it breaks now, if it breaks, trust me, that market is gonna buy. Celebrate all the way up to here. So I think I'll do an updated video. So if you want me to update when CRB occurs, comment down below, I will do that. I, will, I am willing for people to make money. This is episode 10 and people have to start making money. This is a free signal. So if you want me to do an update,
updated video on NSD, USD when CRB has happened, comment down below. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share. Show me love so that I will be motivated to come back. So anyway, if this market doesn't give us a possible double bottom, does not mean that it won't buy. If CRB current resistance break happens, the market gonna buy. The possible double bottom in this case, this one and the next one, it is just fueling the possibility of a buy and it is making this buy market come in in a very bigger way. You understand? So the possible double bottom, because it's a possible double bottom on an uptrend, it will fuel that buy all the way to 63.85. So if we don't get the, 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 the double bottom, my student can still use BWA strategy. And for the rest of you, you have to use CRB. CRB is current resistance break. So I don't have uh, another thing to, to, to add on this trade. It is very, very easy trade to, to trade on. There are those who have been trading, um, they, are, they were trading this double top here. And you can see if you have been trading this double top, which has broken. So the double top is on daily. The market has already, it is nearing the half. So there are those people who are trading that sell. That sell is not, it's not, um, it's called what? It is not uh, stable. Kindly start looking for buys entry on NSDUSD. So I believe that this one, you'll add it on your watch list. More so, if it breaks like this, don't worry. Unless, unless you pay attention on CRB, how CRB will come in, and I'll do an updated video. Unless you pay attention, you cannot able to ride this, this uh, move on the upper side. So if they close like this in the next 24 minutes, most probably they can come back to the, the next possible double bottom, or they can create BWA, or CRB can happen. Anyway, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you have understood one or two things. This is a free, free signal, and you have to add NSD in your trading uh, watch list. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Love you.